nine. It's been an uphill battle for many in the lake area whose homes were destroyed in the 2020 storms. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jade Morrow. Sulphur City Council took action on several residents, allowing the homeowners to continue living in recreational vehicles for the time being. Our home was uh, impacted uh, majorly. Our roof pretty much came off and flooded the entire house. Billy Bertrand and his family have called a travel trailer their home for more than two years. Like many, Bertrand says he's had a fair share of setbacks when trying to rebuild, like losing tens of thousands of dollars to a shoddy contractor. We are starting over again. Hopefully the new year helps us out finding some, uh, some good and uh, honest contractors. I think we found a few. I'm just uh, trying to get the fund situated. The Bertrands are one of the several families given extensions by the Sulphur City Council to continue living in a recreational vehicle or mobile home while they try to rebuild. Mayor Mike Danahay explained to 7 News a non-fee permit is given to the resident that lasts up to six months and can be extended if there is proof repairs are in fact being made to the home. They can prove that they have steps going forward. We just can't keep going on because three years is going to go to three and a half and then to four. For those who are not in contact with the city regarding the status of their repairs, the council discussed ways to ensure they were aware of their options. 